Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today we're gonna to be playing with the final palette from Viseart that they released, the Petite Force, in the uh, uh, Amelie, Amelie, yeah, Amil, Amelie, Milai. Amelie, I don't know. I have no idea, y'all. It comes in this little box here, as always. And this one comes in this pretty... I do like the color of this packaging. I mean, I like the color of all of them, but this one's more my color. And then it comes with its little cover protector. And then this is the palette. So, what do I think about this palette? Well, it's a basic palette, for sure. It's more brown peachy, I guess you could say. Let me give you the swatches here. I don't know which one's dirty anymore. I have my rags. I think I need to wash them all. Alright, so this is the palette, as I just showed you. And these are the swatches. So this and this is that top row right here, and then this one and this one is the bottom row. Or, no, I'm sorry. This, I've got this held wrong. So this and this color are right here. And then that color and that color are right here. I'm losing it. <laughs> so basically two lighter colors are here and two dark colors there, as far as that goes. Two, there's two mattes, two metallics. I mean, again, the palette goes together you know what i mean like the color story it fits they work well together they play well together all that it's just basically a basic palette for 25 dollars and i don't mean basic is in like it's a basic color story it's an everyday color story so to say so the first shade we're going to go into is this one right here this light brown peach color best way for me to describe it and we're going to start to create the crease with it or transition shade whatever you want to call it again not a makeup artist just an everyday user of makeup you know and this is the look we're going to be creating And I do think for $25, it's kind of worth it. Because, but it, again, it depends on who is this for? To me, I feel like these palettes are for people that travel because they're compact and they're small. Somebody that has a, wants and has a small collection of makeup, you know, one or two palettes. Somebody that doesn't really want to think about it when they're doing their makeup. They kind of want it all laid out for them. I believe this palette is for. And again, I think you would like this palette for that reason. It is very self-explanatory, so to say, as far as like color story and what you need to do, where things should be placed. You don't necessarily have to do that, you know, but I feel like th this one, even though it is, it's easy and works well and creates a beautiful look, um, it kind of is my least favorite. I'm going to take that same lighter shade and run it up on the lower lash line. Or run it under the lower lash line, so to say.
I mean, I don't know really. For this palette, it ju it just let's go into this darker matte right here for the outer corner. To me, this is just an everyday look type of thing, you know? Which is good, but at the same time, as much makeup that there is, did we need this? I mean, obviously, I must have thought I needed it because I purchased it, but again, that doesn't say much because I'm a fool. And I buy everything and anything. Which really doesn't make sense anymore. Now that I'm thinking about it. To be honest with you. Why I keep buying. Because I think. Unless a new brand comes out. Or. If. The. The color stories change. That's in a certain like. Makeup brand. I kind of know what shadows I like at this point and what shadows I think look the best on my eyes too. Like obviously I like Pat McGrath and stuff, but that's more for playing. You know what I mean? Like if I'm going to a wedding, I'm, I'm well, I could pull her one palette, the mothership, what was that? Eight. The rose one. Because it's a neutral color story. But for the most part, like with that, I'm probably going to pull a palette that looks nice on the eyes for aging eyes. You know what I mean? And so far, that Surratt palette has really got my attention that I tried. It's expensive as I'll get out. But I do like it on my eyes. The way it looks. But at the same time, for four shades compared to, I'm going to go into this darker metallic here. I'm not going to spray it. And I will say this palette, the shades aren't as soft as the other two. So I don't get fallout. So that's nice as far as that goes with the palette. But anyway, like as far as the price point, I think it is a good price point for four shades. If you compare it to like Tom Ford, Charlotte Tilbury, you know what I mean? Like those price, those are higher prices. I'm gonna take the lightest shade and put it in my inner corner. Then I'm going to take that dark brown that I just used for the outer corner and I'm going to run it under the lower lash line right on the lash line. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the top lash line. I'm just going to run it right on the lash line. And then I used a brown liner. Actually, I used the Ulta Beauty Eye Gel Eyeliner in Chocolate. And it's holding up pretty good. So I'm kind of pleased with it. I've not tried much from the Ulta Beauty brand, to be honest. But I'm thinking... I do have a couple of things. I might pull out and try the Ulta Beauty brand, just to see. I 
I'm just pushing that brown into my lash line. It's not showing that well because, again, these colors are not that dark. They are soft. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? I do think of how it's for somebody. Probably not myself. I probably could have skipped it. But I did want her to see, you know what I mean? Because I am that fool that gets scared of, well, what if I'm missing something special? You know what I mean? I'm going to just use the Lancome Def and Sills Mascara for top and bottom lashes, actually. I always use this for my bottom lashes, and it looks so good. So I thought, well, why not try it for the top? You know, maybe... It will look good. And it does give me length, for sure, and separation. But it really don't give me much volume. But I don't know if it's called, if it says it's supposed to either. So, you know, if all it's supposed to do is, like, separate and lengthen, it does do that. Which I kind of already knew, considering I use this for my bottom lashes all the time. I kind of knew that it would, you know, lengthen and stuff. Because it does make my bottom lashes look nice and separated and lengthened. So I kind of knew how it would play, to be honest. But, for an everyday quick look, I mean, it is pretty. And that's the way I feel about this palette. To me, this palette is a, almost like a work palette, maybe. Um, a day palette. That's the way I feel anyway. I feel like then, like, this palette here the Lilas Lilas Do Do X DX I don't know this one here I feel like it's more for evenings like not necessarily the second going down but dinner time time like date maybe a date and then this one I feel like is a nighttime palette which is the Violetta. Yeah, Violetta. So, if I had to rank these at the same time, my personal favorite would be the Lilas Do... Do I? I don't know. Whatever this one is. The very first one I used. Then this one would be my second favorite. And this is my third. So, the way I reviewed them is actually the way that I like them. It, it comes to find out. Which, I did think that, and that is kind of why I did the video the way I did them. Because I wanted to play, like, I was excited to play with them the way I played with them, you know. But, I will say that this one's not necessarily a miss for me. But, I don't think it was necessarily something I absolutely, positively needed. But, it still, nonetheless, created a pretty easy look. So, I very well could you know, quick look, if it was laying out and I seen it, I probably would grab it just for that quick look, you know what I mean? Because it didn't take me no time at all to create this look. But, that is my final thoughts on this, and all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? How would you rank them? Which one was your favorite? And did you buy any of them? Were you thinking about it? I mean, $25 really isn't that bad, it's not that good, but it's not that bad for foreshadows. With this formula, and the, so, like, I do really like Viseart formula. Let me let you know that now. As a beginner, I find that formula very easy to use. I think it does look nice on the eyes, um, even for, like, my aging eyes. Um, 
So, it, it, it's not hard to think about to use either. So, I do like it for that fact, for sure. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if y'all know what you're doing, but I sure don't know what I'm doing, and I'm going to admit it. But nonetheless, the look still turns out pretty using these palettes. That I will give it. So, that is all I have. I hope this video helped in some way. Even if it's just to say that I'm a fool for purchasing it. You know what I mean? But, anyway, if this video did help, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload. I upload every day but Sunday. Although with new releases coming in, I have been uploading on Sundays. But that is all I have for you today, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.